Good evening, solo programmers. My name is Pavel, and we are continuing to build our Turtle Graphics uh, program. In this video, we will be updating our game board array, so we can, uh, so when we up, when our turtle moves, uh, we update the array with our current move, and then display it on the board if the pen is down, meaning if we are drawing. So. Um, I'm going to have um, actually two methods to update it. Uh, if you remember from the last exercise, the last video, I'm having a s uh, north and south. It's going to be for one update and east and west will be for the other. That's because north and south is up and down and east and west is left and right. So all we have to do is simply change uh, negative one or plus one to move to the left or right or the same negative one or plus one to move up or down so um, in our game board i'm gonna be update array let's just start with the north and south so if moving north or south and um, the logic is basically like this we will start studies our um, X position that's because we are uh, if you look at the at the move the X is the thing that changes the row is changing the uh, column remains the same when we moving up or down so uh, we need to go to our starting position that we had at the beginning of our move then there's gonna be an iteration which is the number of spaces we move um, it's gonna be an increment uh, I'll, I'll just go, name it increment increment uh, it's gonna be is gonna be negative one if moving north again because we are coming closer to, to the zero zero coordinates so we are uh, subtracting the spaces or it's gonna be plus one if moving south and finally there's gonna be a constant which is in this case uh, since we are moving up or down our y position is gonna be constant is our y position so this is for the north or south update so let's do our public it's gonna be a static uh, it's gonna be aesthetic because again every move is uh, individual like every time we move we don't have to remember uh, our previous move so uh, we can move this make this uh, two methods uh, static so it's gonna be update update game board we are updating X because x is what's changing y remains the same so we will pass the integer i'll call it start integer iteration which is the spaces well, maybe i should call it spaces but i have you know, i have it called spaces all over the place so i want to make sure that you understand that this is a uh, different spaces than uh, in any other part of this program so i'll just call it iteration in this method integer increment and integer constant so these are the positions so uh, it's gonna be only single for loop for var i equals zero i is less than the iteration which is the spaces and i plus plus and we are updating our game board array so what do we do we have our uh, new position it's gonna be the start which is the starting position plus the increment which is the number of spaces however the remember the I mean the increment is the uh, the uh, 
plus one or minus one. So uh, we are going to simply determine whether we are going up or down since we are updating x. So if it's minus one, we're going up. If it's plus one, we're going down. So I will do start and actually do this, put this in the bracket like this and go uh, the i multiplied by and it's gonna be minus one or plus one making this going up or down so if let's say we are moving five spaces up so this is gonna be negative five so it's gonna be starting position minus five so that's our that's our first position or our first value our first index uh, you know since this is a double del to the array so this is our first index and the second one will be the constant which is the y so again this is gonna give us the uh, position with negative value or positive value depending on where we're going up or down with the constant which is y our y position because it's a column that doesn't change and we will replace them all with our, uh, what do I call it, U space. And U space is the symbol of O. So basically our move will be now seeded with uh, the character O. Because again, we are looping through all the spaces we are moving and replacing all the ones uh, that we stepped on with, uh, with the character O. All right, so um, let's do the, the next one, which is going to be the uh, update. You know what, I'm going to copy paste it because it's going to be very similar. Except this one's going to be Y. And again, it will have the, its start, its increment, its iteration and constant. Uh, the, ad, the only thing is that uh, we now start with our constant because we are moving on the on the on the row we are moving left or right or uh, right to left so our constant is the row now so uh, and the row is the first uh, first index in our array other than that, everything stays the same. So simply replace the rows uh, for the columns and the columns for the rows from the previous uh, from the previous method, and you don't have to type it anymore. So um, this is all for the north and uh, and south. And um, since we are already here, uh, we have the update. We can do the the draw board as well because now we have our turtle gra graphics, which is X, and we have our position X and Y in our turtle. We can now actually finish this. So uh, we will do our for loops. So for var i equals zero, i is less than game board size, i plus plus. And again, for var c equals zero c is less than game board size and c plus plus and here we will we will use the uh game board array to populate the uh, populate the grid with the one exception which is our turtle current position uh, we want to display that as an x we want to display all the used spaces as O, but our turtle, we want to know where it is, so we will display it as X. So if I equals the position X that we are passing here, and C equals the position Y coordinate, then we will do console.write, and we will call the turtle symbol which is uh, the which is uh, passed as a character which is gonna be an X else 
we simply display the used uh, character which is O. So we will do console dot write and we will display the current game board array i and c so whatever is being stored in it we will display remember we initialize the game board array with uh, the spaces for game board symbol with dots but now we are updating it with uh, the o's so it, it basically draws what's in the array at the moment so that's our game board uh let me let just make sure that i have everything i have the x updating uh start that seems correct and i have the uh the y as well we initialize the draw the board and we are updating the array okay so yeah that's this one seems uh finished so um can come back to our to our turtle and actually decide whether we are drawing or just moving so uh, stick around for the next video because i'll be doing just that take care